What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the second ever student athlete interview. As you guys know from last year, we interviewed Albert Regis from the football team. He was a freshman last year. And this time we have Cameron Donnelly. He's a baseball player for Texas A&M. And we're gonna ask him a few questions about like the baseball life and everything in general. So we're gonna start off with, what is your name, even though I already said it, your major, where you're from, and your position with a description of what it is. So I'm a freshman from Houston, Texas, uh, majoring in engineering, and I play catcher. So I'm the one with all the gear that's, that squats behind the plate, and I'm catching every pitch, and then our job is to make sure the ball doesn't get behind us, make sure the runner's on, that nobody gets to advance. We're just kind of controlling the game from behind the plate. Okay, so the next question we have is, um, so assuming you're a recruit and you got recruited to play at A&M, how many offers did you get straight out of high school and what made you choose A&M out of all those schools that you've been visited? So I was recruited pretty late out of high school. I had a, um, a couple of D1 offers. I think Rice was the one that was pulling most for me. And then I got A&M like the fall of my senior year, which was like, it was pretty late. Um, and so I chose to go here because the engineering school is fantastic, the education is great, the team is great, um, and it just seemed, it was close to home, it seemed like it's the perfect, perfect place for me, and when I visited, I loved it, loved it, so. Okay, so did you do an official visit to this school last year? Um, so I came, they had all their official visits, and then I came a week later, oh, okay. and I got to tour the facility and everything. Um, I didn't go to the football game with everybody, but I got to do the look at the facilities, got to talk to all the coaches. Did you get to stay in a hotel and all that stuff? Yeah, yeah, so it was, it was fun. Okay. So the next question is, um, are you here on a full scholarship or partial scholarship, or how, how much did they give you? To so the in? way um, baseball works, actually nobody on the team is on full scholarship. They have 11.7 full scholarships to, to like disperse among 40 people, whoever's on the roster. Mm -hmm. So about half the players actually aren't on any athletic money, but we do get academic money. So oh, that's kind of what I'm on. So I got, since I was later recruited, um, I'm on mostly academic money and then not athletic money. So you have academic scholarships based on your yeah. grades and everything? Oh, okay. That's yeah. Good. That's good. Okay, so the next question is, what college did you like growing up and what was your dream college? Uh, growing up, I was, I mean, my pan, my dad went to UT, not good. And then my mom went to, uh, my mom went to A&M. And then a bunch of my aunts all went to a so they were all trying to pull it for pulling for me to be an Aggie. And my dad was more of a kind of just do whatever you want. So growing up, I was kind of in between everything. And it wasn't until high school that I started becoming more of an Aggie fan. And then uh, I'm here now, so. So was there a dream college that you wanted to go to, like a top tier, number one baseball college in the country kind of thing? Um, that's a good question. I'm not sure, a Georgia Tech would have been, especially for my major, would have been probably the one that I was really, really interested in. But then I started looking at, you know, staying in Texas and stuff, and a and just really jumped out to me. So that kind of became what I really wanted, and that's what I eventually was able to get. Okay, so the next question we have is, um, so we know the football facilities and everything, but I've never been or never even seen the f baseball facilities. So what buildings do y'all practice in for baseball, and how many training facilities do y'all have for so the baseball team? Everything we have is all, in our facilities at Olsen Field. So under the bleachers, what you don't see is there's like the locker room, there's a, like a diamond club where, where we all we meet with the team. There's a classroom in there that the coaches will give presentations and stuff before practice. We have a training room in there where all of our trainers are and you get your uh, post-practice work in there. And you have hot tubs, cold tubs. We got a weight room uh, hidden in there as well. And then we also have our batting cages and then obviously the field. So everything we do is all kind of all in the same place, which is nice. We don't have to go very far, but um, yeah, there's a lot the, of stuff packed in there. Y'all got the nutrition place in there too, like a nutrition center? Oh yeah, we have, a, um, we have a little, a like a fuel room is what they call it. Uh, it's a little nutrition lounge. Um, and we get like breakfast served there in the mornings and then we have a bunch of snacks and stuff during the day. And we get lunch usually is brought in from restaurants and stuff. And then for dinner, we go over to the um, Slocum Nutrition Center by a bright football complex and eat with the rest of the uh, So do y'all have like a game room area, like a ping pong table or foosball or like eight ball pool kind of thing there? We have um, a pool table and a ping pong table both in our locker room. Okay. And then we might be getting more because the plan is to for everything inside, like inside the stadium to be renovated for the next two years. So I know our locker room is going to get completely redone and they might, might add some more stuff in there. But 
right now we have a pool and ping pong in there. Do you think we could be seeing a baseball facility tour video coming up soon? Possibly, yeah. That'll be a good. That'll be a good one because I know a lot of people don't know. I guess I've never been to the Olsen Field ever, like for a game, because I don't watch baseball that much. Yeah. So I don't even know how Olsen looks like. I don't know what's there. So I think that would be a good video for like Definitely everybody true, to yeah. see. Okay. So the next question we have is, so as a baseball player, you know, this is a D one school. Your schedule must be tight. What is your practice schedule? What is the practice schedule as a baseball player? How many days, weeks? You have weekends off, kind of thing. Just so, give us the um, details. Right now we're in our like fall practice block, which is like started mid September, ends end of October. Um, so we have practice every day from like two until around six, sometimes really earlier, sometimes later. And then we have typically a shorter one on Fridays. And then we have Saturday off and then Sunday night we always have practice and then like a, a, a little scrimmage against the, the pitchers. So well, most of our pra about half of our practices are scrimmages between like between everybody on the team. So like simulated games. Okay. So the next question we have is, um, what is the typical day in the life for a baseball player? Like when you wake up and by the time you go to sleep, just give us a rundown of your schedule. So on days where we have like morning workouts, we wake up. We normally wake up at like four forty-five. Okay. Uh, wake up, get some food, get ready to go, and then we go you know, go over to the field. Get there by 5.15, 5.30. Um, you can make snacks, play some ping pong, get ready for lift, and go outside at 5.45, start um, stretching at 6. And then we do like a 30 to 45 minute stretch um, with some running exercises, get our lift in. And then um, when we get back, the fuel room will have our breakfast in there. So we eat, and then normally it's everybody we have either like, like tutoring or go to class um, pretty much anywhere between 8 and noon-ish. And then everybody kind of comes back, and if you have free time, people will go in and get extra hitting in or get some throwing or fielding, fielding work in before practice. And practice starts at 2.15, so we start stretching. And then um, that'll go until 5 or 6, and we all you know, hit the showers and then go over to the nutrition center for dinner. And after that, it's normally go home, get whatever homework you can done, and then like personally, I'm in bed between 9 and 10 every night. Okay. To get my uh, eight hours of sleep. So you don't so, never sleep past midnight. Uh, if I have to work, <laughs> depends on what work I have. With engineering. Yeah. There have been a couple of times where I've been up studying or doing yeah. homework past midnight, and the next day I'm normally not. Yeah. That that engineering one hundred two is getting you. <laughs> it's the chemistry. Man. The, the chemistry. chemistry? Which one are you in? Uh, I'm in Chem 107. Oh, 107. Okay. It's not the it's not the class. It's the labs. Oh, the yeah. labs. The lab reports and all that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So the next question we have is: Since you obviously played in high school, did you win any awards in high school or like any distinguished honors or anything? So I was a team captain for three years, and then I also won first team all district twice, and then I was academic all state. Um, both my junior and senior years. Okay. So. so did COVID take anything away from any of your years or you were able to play your whole high school? Uh, my sophomore year, it took, it took out like half the season. Oh, okay, but it wasn't like a full year kind of no, thing? No, we played, yeah, we played a bunch of games right before it happens, a bunch oh. of tournaments and stuff, and then it cut out like our district schedule oh, for okay. conference games. Okay. So the next question we have is, um, so we all know like football gets a lot of gear and all that merch and stuff. So what gear are y'all giving as baseball players? So when we first walked in, our locker room, our lockers were already prepared. We had like batting gloves, a bunch of practice shirts, um, shorts. I've gotten like three or four pairs of shoes, two pairs of cleats, uh, two hats. We all got bats. And then um, about a month ago, we all ordered custom gloves. So I got two custom catcher's mitts that are coming in in about a month or so. And then once it gets to the kind of the cold weather uh, seasons, we get a bunch of cold weather gear. And then in the spring, we get even more gear. So it's kind of, it starts off in the fall with like just some, and then it's supposed to keep building throughout the spring. And they just stuff it in your locker kind of thing whenever they bring it in? Yeah, well, so whatever we get, um, if, when we first came in, it was all in our lockers. And then we have this, along one of the walls of our locker room, I'll show you when we go take a tour or something. Um, they have these like cubbies that lead into the equipment room. So they'll take whatever new stuff we get and they'll put them in there. And we each have our own little code that we type in to get into it. And then, um, so we'll open it up and see what we got and we come put it in our locker. 
and that's how we get laundry every day too because they um we get laundry done for us oh you get laundry done yeah so all of our practice clothes every day we'll put them on this little like bag we call it a loop and mm -hmm. we throw it through this hole in the wall and then next morning we open up a little cubby thing and our, our foot clean laundry is there okay okay that's good. so this question is like kind of building off like what buildings do you have for practice but like how is the locker room set up and what do y'all have in your facilities if you could like go into detail again for example like you said the hot tub just like give us more like what else do y'all have in that facility kind of okay thing. so we um when you first walk in to our facilities there's like this lounge area they just renovated it, it looks really nice. If you go up the stairs, there's the coaches' offices, and they kind of overlook the field um, and the weight room. And then so, and then if you go immediately in, you go through a classroom that has like the, has a projector and stuff, everything, and a bunch of seats. Um, so we'll take, like our hitting coach will bring us in there and we'll talk about hitting and stuff and watch videos and analyze film and stuff in there. Then in the locker room, it's set up in basically a giant rectangle with all the lockers around, like along the walls. And they're, uh, they're the nice like sit-in lockers where we have like two drawers at the bottom for our shoes and our clothes. We have a hanger rack um, for our jerseys and our, and our other um, shirts and stuff. And also for us to hang our like gloves and our batting gloves and stuff on. And up top they have two more little open drawer um, or open cabinets where we can put kind of personal belongings and other stuff we need. We put classwork up there if we need to. Um, and on the very top there's like a kind of a, a shelf for like where you put all your bats and your, and your hats and everything. And so that lines like kind of the walls of the locker room, and we have our, our like our showers and the restrooms like off on one side, and then um, like one of the doors to the locker room leads to the fuel room. So in there, there's like couches, there's a TV. You know, the TV has an Xbox, um, PlayStation, and all that. Yeah, um, they aren't used as much though, because generally there's not as much time, mm -hmm. like downtime right now. Yeah. Um, and then it's got a full kitchen in there. Along with like a, we have like a, a fridge, a fridge full of pretty much eggs and milk and um and like, uh, orange juice and other chocolate milk and stuff, um, and there's like a giant rack full of protein bars, and then the main fridge is packed with like sandwich stuff and other snack items. We have fruit, and there's a bunch of other stuff in some of the cabinets. And then down the hall, the trainers room uh, has four like on the trainers beds. It has one like examination room. It has like an ex like a doctor's exam table. If someone wants to get hurt or they're trying to look at something, um, and they also have a fridge that's always stocked with Gatorade and Propel if we're ever like dehydrated, because hydration is a big thing in the program and mm -hmm. staying hydrated. And then through a door in there, there's like hot tubs and cold tubs, which are very helpful with recovery. Um, so those are I use those pretty well, pretty often. Okay. Like after practice. Do you have like an ice bath or anything or? Yeah, that's what the hot tub and cold tub is. The oh, cold tub is pretty much an ice bath, oh, it's just like without the ice. But oh, it's just it's just as cold, if okay. not colder. So the next question we have is, who's your favorite baseball player? My favorite baseball player is probably uh, Buster Posey. He retired a year ago. Uh, I played for the Giants. He's a catcher. Okay. Same position as me, but I've always been inspired by him. Okay. Um, so the, bouncing off that question, if you could meet any baseball player, who would that be? Right now, I'd like to meet uh, Adley Rutschman, who's a, uh, he's a rookie uh, catcher for the Orioles. I know our pitching coach, uh, Coach Tim in college, uh, Coach Yeski, who was at Oregon State at the time. But um, he's going to be a phenomenal, phenomenal player. He already is. And I'd, uh, he's very good with pitchers, and I'd really like to talk to him about some of that stuff and kind of meet with him. Okay. So while scrolling through y'all's IG, I noticed that y'all had a Labor Day Olympics. And mm -hmm. I know other sports have like a lot of team events that they went through over summer and throughout the semester. So can you explain what that Olympics was and any other team activities that y'all have gone to or places y'all have gone to as a team? Kind of so that was kind of our first big one. I know we're gonna have some more in the future, but um, we all kind of, his coach separated uh, the entire program into like teams of five. And there were five different events. So everybody on the team had to compete in one of the events. And there was like putt-putt, um, shuffleboard, ping pong, a belly flop competition, and then a karaoke competition. Um, I got put in the belly flop competition, not willingly. <laughs> I, I got snubbed, I got second, should have gotten first. But um, it was a lot of fun, so everybody kind of got to compete against each other and they tallied which teams won which events. And then in the end, my team didn't win, which was, once again, got snubbed. Yeah. But the karaoke competition was hilarious. <laughs> Did you sing or was other people? I didn't sing? have to sing. Oh, one of the, um, the person from my group, <laughs> Did not do a very good job singing. <laughs> there was one guy who put on um, he put on a wig 
and, and saying to shake it off by Taylor Swift. Uh, and it was it was pretty funny. So who would you say the singer of the team is? Definitely the guy I was talking about. His name is Colin Linder. Colin Linder. Is, he, is he a new or he's been in the program for a while? He's a, he's a freshman like Oh, me. just like okay. 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 That's fair. Okay, so the next question we have is... Because, um, um, you know, there's high schoolers coming into A&M or other D1 schools kind of thing. So um, what advice do you have to the high schoolers out there looking to join a prestigious program like A&M's baseball? Uh, you got to want it. You got to be ready, ready to, you know, it sounds cliche, but get your work in. It's a lot more work than you think it is. Um, the days are long. There are days when I leave my apartment at 5 and I don't get back until 8 p.m. Um, so you kind of just got to be ready and stay on top of your time. If you manage everything well, it's it's going to be a lot of fun, but it can, get on, it can pile up on you pretty quick. Okay, so that's it for the interview. Um, do you have any socials you want them to follow you on? Just follow, my, follow me on Instagram uh, at Cameron underscore Donnelly. Um, I'll have him put that in there. Yeah, I'll put it on the screen. And anything else? Twitter, nothing else? Uh, Twitter is Cameron Donnelly 12. Occasionally stuff will be on there, but Instagram is an animal, so. Okay. So now since we're done with the interview, things I'm looking forward to, things we're more looking forward to for the channel. Um, so we finished the interview part. Um, we said the tour of the baseball facility is coming. And another thing I'm trying to do with baseball is I'm trying to get a, a gear drop kind of thing. Because I know men's basketball recently got their gear. I have a video coming up for that, to like just highlighting the gear they got and showing it out. So I'm trying to do a gear drop video for baseball. So I don't know if you have all your gear in, in there or you take some home. But we're just trying to see like all the gear you've been given so far, like the backpack, the shoes, the hat, everything. If you can get a nice gotcha. little tour of all the gear you're given, that will be a good video also. So that's it for the interview, everyone. Thank you guys for watching. Um, we're going to do another sport later on. So if you guys know any other student athletes that want to be interviewed, message me on my Instagram. The link's in the description. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like on the video. Comment down below um, something new you've learned. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys for watching.